everyone. Welcome to our very first live and in-person community update coming to you from Japan. My name is Mattia and I work in the community team at Nothing. Japan's history, culture, companies, products and people influence us every day. As a hub of technological innovation and creativity, Japan is an ideal environment for Nothing disruptive and cutting-edge products. So it's a great privilege for me to be here today to talking to you and opening up this uh, update on our community. At Nothing, we are on a mission to erase the boundaries between community and company. We are building the future of Nothing hand in hand with the people that believe in our vision. To do this, we're focusing on a series of initiatives that allow us to actively engage, learn from, and interact the millions of people who are part of our community. So before we talk about new products, we would like to celebrate the accomplishments of our community with one of our already famous community updates prepared by our team in London. Hey everyone, Rob here from the community team. Q1 was another huge quarter for us all here at Nothing with some big moments. Of course, we launched three new products, including Phone 2A, our third smartphone. We held our first ever live keynote event over in Delhi. And finally, we announced the Community Edition project. But more on that a bit later, I want to give a shout out to a few members whose work has caught our attention over the past three months. First up, Andrea. I wanted to shout out Nothing Loop, which was his smart ring concept. Secondly, Toshinobu with his Cube One speaker concept. And Goldine with their really interesting ideas and sketches for Nothing Apparel. So today I'm joined here by Akis. Hey Rob, how's it going my man, good? Good, yeah, just wanted to bring you on to talk a bit about the launch of 2A. Yeah, hell of a launch, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think for the community team it was like one of, the, one of the best things we've ever done. For sure, you had this kind of massive offline event, the job, so I mean, yeah, tell us, how was it from a community standpoint? Yeah, I guess the main thing is just having so many familiar faces, but also lots of new faces from community in one space. You know, we've been talking online for a couple of years now, and to put names to faces like that, Super wholesome. The other cool thing is we brought Rohit along with us, our community board observer. So to bring him along to get to meet some of those faces too, but also to get some first-hand feedback that he can then report to the board with. Another really cool thing was that we uh, worked with Raul and we challenged him to make a video of our launch event, but only using Phone 2A. It's been incredible, the work that we've seen from him online. So I think this time around to bring him for the Phone 2A uh, launch and kind of capture that on the phone was Incredible, right? Yeah, he's a bit of a recognizable name, a bit of a legend. And of course, the other huge part of uh, our launch was the drops, which happened in 10 countries, 12 cities. You went to four of them back to back. Yeah, quite intense. It was those type of opportunities. We get to meet our community, real users, get feedback on all the products we've recently launched. Again, another amazing chance to meet our members. Uh, Akis, I'm going to leave you here. You're going to be speaking to Tom from GV next for a little bit of business performance. It's time to report to the investor. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck with that. And, uh, Thanks. Catch you in a bit. All right, catch you in a bit, my man. Tom, thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Before we kick off, maybe a quick intro? Yeah, I'd love to. So I'm Tom, I'm an investor at Google Ventures. So we invest in really high growth technology and life science companies. So often software companies like Uber or Slack or Stripe. And I led our investment in nothing back in 2021. But you launched the Phone 2A a few weeks ago. How did it go? The reception was amazing, to be frank. I think there was a lot of anticipation going to the launch. And uh, as soon as the product was out, we've seen a lot of uh, media reviews coming out, followed by quite a few five stars ratings. We had this kind of massive event in India with like hundreds of people. Then we had the drops actually thousands of people queuing up all around the world for it. Um, so yeah, I think so far so good. So my big question is how is that translated to numbers? <laughs> of course, numbers, that's where it comes down to. We had never seen something like this. Uh, you know, we sold over 100,000 units um, in just 24 hours, uh, something we'd never thought would be possible. It's an amazing achievement though. I've said before at this point, I mean, it seems nothing's getting better with every phone launch. Quite rapidly, we're able to cross a total of 3 million units sold. And I don't know if you remember, last time we spoke, we had crossed, end of last year, 2 million two. units sold. Basically, the first million 
took us two years, the second million took us one year, and then uh, less than six months actually, the third one, so we have a nice little it's exponential growth that I'm sure you're quite uh, happy about. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good, which means the four million units you cross in, in July, and then of course, five in August. <laughs> Sounds good. And then, but it wasn't just the phone 2A you launched in the last few weeks, it was also some awesome CMF product. Yeah, so we launched the Neckband Pro, which is a very convenient form factor as you have always the earbuds within easy reach and you can actually pack a massive battery inside. And then we launched the CMF Buds, which have a good sound quality and great noise cancellation. And then, yeah, uh, for both products, reviews were actually super positive praising both the design aspect of it, but also, more importantly, the overall performance. And I, I, love, I think sometimes the kind of, you know, real value price point, you have to strip away things. It makes you guys get more creative. It was always one of your kind of ambitions to make this a brand that is accessible. It brings beautiful design to absolutely everyone. I guess related to bringing design to everyone, you guys have always been incredibly thoughtful about community. Uh, it's not just product and design, you actually have been involving the community. Tell me a bit about how that's gone. We decided to do this kind of ultimate version of phone 2 where basically the community would be designing the kind of the CMF of the hardware, color material finish, um, then the software with the wallpaper, then the box of the product, and then launch campaign with all the kind of creative assets. I feel like this is gonna be an amazing way for young emerging designers to sort of showcase some of their talents. For sure, for sure, yeah, we've seen a lot, and that's the thing, they have to play with the real stuff. But anyway, back to talking about community, back to Mattia to show you more about how the community edition has been going. So yeah, thanks a lot, Tom, for coming today. Pleasure, thank you. Thanks, Rob, Akis, uh, and Tom, for another great update. As uh, Akis mentioned, Community Edition is our most ambitious community project to date. Nobody in the industry has ever dared to try something like this because it requires giving away a lot of control over the design of the product and putting full trust on your community to deliver upon the task. Given the level of creativity and uh, involvement that we have seen from our community in all these years, we have no doubt that Community Edition is going to result in something extremely special. And in fact, the response to the launch of Community Edition has been uh, overwhelming. Um, we have seen the highest traffic to the community site, um, which is a clear testament to the fact that the community is up for the challenge and is fully on it. So where are we on the journey now? We have closed the stage one on hardware design. Um, with uh, over 400 amazing submissions. You can see some of them on the screen. Um, the jury will be able to pick only one, so it's going to be an interesting challenge for them um, to get a winner. But please stay tuned. The announcement is going to come next week. Stage two opens in early May, and we can't really wait to see what other ideas uh, the community has for wallpaper design. I also have some great news for uh, Phone 2 users. I am really excited to share that starting today, we are bringing the True Lens engine to Phone 2. This update, thank you. This update includes uh, the addition of Ultra XDR, the support for P3 color, as well as tuning tweaks. They're going to make photos even more true to life. As always, we are listening to our customers' feedback to the community, and we are working to make all our products better. Now, I would like to turn our attention to the future and to what's coming up. So, Gillian, why don't you kick it off? Thank you, Mattia. Thanks, Mattia. Audio is at the core of nothing. Our first product was Ear One, a striking featherweight design that broke the internet when it launched. This was followed by Ear 2, the Red Dot award-winning second generation that took nothing earbuds to the next level with superb performance. Today, I want to share our best ever audio experience and the culmination of over three years of meticulous engineering and design innovation. Nothing Ear, an icon evolved. So our community loves the design of Ear 2, but they wanted a better, more high fidelity experience. So we retained the award-winning design of Ear 2 while re-engineering 
and redesigning what's inside, from the driver to the battery, to make it our best sounding earbuds yet. Let's take a look at some detail. Nothing Ear is home to our most advanced driver, one that we believe delivers the most authentic and clearest sound. To achieve this, we reconfigured the driver in a refined, stacked layout. This improvement increases the vibration amplitude of Nothing Ear by 110% compared to Ear 2, delivering an even more powerful bass. We also added an all-new ceramic diaphragm. After comprehensive testing, we found that ceramic outperforms all other materials for frequency response and overall sound quality. Rarely seen in audio products, ceramic is distinctly rigid, which makes it a great choice for delivering crisp highs. The acoustic chambers of Nothing Ear have also evolved to include two vents, which improve airflow within each bud by 10% compared to Ear 2. This means less distortion and richer overall clarity for an unbeatable audio experience. And to stay focused on the superb audio, we've increased active noise cancellation by almost two times to an impressive 45 decibels, making this our most effective and most intelligent noise canceling yet. And we've also introduced a new mic design with an extra vent that allows wind to flow through more easily. Coupled with improvements with our voice algorithm, we've reduced interference in calls by 60% compared to Ear 2. And nothing has a, Ear has a battery life that lasts 25% longer than Ear 2. So you can enjoy up to 40 and a half hours of playback with the case and eight and a half hours of nonstop playback on a single charge. And if you run out, 10 minutes of charge gives you 10 hours of playback. Let's take a look. Nothing Ear delivers our best ever audio experience, giving you complete control of your sound in high fidelity. The price of Nothing Ear is $149 or 129 pounds, and I am delighted to say that this is the same price as Ear 2. It's available for pre-order today in white and black. The incredible Nothing Ear. But that's not all we have to share with you today. Ryan? Thank you, Gillian. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here in Tokyo. What an amazing place to launch new products. So you've just heard about our very best audio experience, and I want to share with you something completely new today. Nothing. We're rooted in creating new experiences and bringing the fun back to tech. Ear One, our very first product, was loved for its beautiful, iconic, transparent design, really impressive performance, 
and super great value. It's light, comfortable, you can take it anywhere and enjoy your music for hours and hours. And we wanted to take that experience to a whole next level. So, I'd like to introduce Nothing Ear A. Nothing Ear A, a fresh and colorful new addition to our audio family, head-turning design, our smartest noise cancellation powers, it's an all-round audio companion. Ear A was imagined by a London design team to be part of your everyday. It's all new design from the case to the earbuds, great sound, really premium features. Uh, the, the new shape feels great, it's featherweight and super beautiful. And for the very first time in any Nothing product, we're introducing a splash of color, yellow. Not only does yellow perfectly complement the playful design of Nothing Ear A, it really reflects our design philosophy as well. If you strip back how colors are made, you're left with the primary colors. This purist approach to color led us to Nothing Ear A yellow. It doesn't just look beautiful, it sounds incredible too. Nothing Ear A actually has 45 decibels of noise reduction, so you can stay in the moment no matter where you are. The core parts of the speaker, the drive and the diaphragm, are custom designed to highlight every single detail. This means less distortion, clearer content, and an outstanding audio experience. The new design also allowed us to add a bigger battery, so you get 42 point and a half hours of battery life. At 25% more than Ear One, it's our longest ever battery. So no matter how long your day is, Ear A's got you covered. Let's take a look. Thank you. So there you have Nothing Ear A, signature Nothing transparent design, a brand new driver, our best ever ANC, and our longest ever battery life. Nothing Ear A is made for every part of your day with a head-turning design. And I'm pleased to say that it's actually $99, £99. That's actually the same price as our very first product, the Nothing Ear One, but with all-round better performance. And it's available to pre-order today from nothing.tech in all three colors. So, you've heard about uh, the new Nothing Audio lineup today, Nothing Ear, our best ever audio experience, an expression of elite craftsmanship, it allows users to, to have complete control of their music in high fidelity, and Nothing Ear A, a colorful new transparent addition to, our, to, to Nothing design, design Language. Made for music lovers, it's the ultimate audio companion. So thank you very much. And I'd like to welcome Carl to the stage. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, everyone. It's great to be back. We have some more exciting news to share with you all today. As we all know, AI is the most exciting thing.
happening in tech right now. And at Nothing, we believe that we have an important role to play in advancing consumer tech products transition into AI. We have a very exciting roadmap ahead of us, and today we're ready to ship the first features that we've developed. It's just the beginning, so please consider this a teaser for what's to come. So first, let's talk about earbuds. We've integrated Nothing Earbuds with ChatGPT, the world's most popular consumer AI tool. With Nothing Earbuds, you can now speak directly with ChatGPT. All you have to do is download the ChatGPT app on your Nothing phone and go to the Nothing X app and select how you'd like to activate it. Personally, I prefer using the left earbud pinch and hold. So imagine you're walking on the street while listening to a podcast. You hear about an interesting concept that you want to learn more about. Simply pinch and hold the left earbud and you begin speaking to ChatGPT with the podcast paused in the background. And when you're finished, End the conversation with a single pinch the same way you would end a phone call. All this time, your phone was in your pocket with the screen off. It's natural and a super convenient user experience. So that's the ChatGPT integration with Nothing Earbuds. We've also integrated ChatGPT with Nothing OS in two ways. First, we created new widgets that take you straight to ChatGPT text, voice, or vision. You can place them on your home screen as three separate widgets, or use one widget that you can flick through for the different modes. This brings AI closer to you while keeping consistency with Nothing OS's design language. Second, we've also made it easier to send content directly to ChatGPT in the form of text or screenshot. If you're reading an article and a sentence catches your attention, simply select it and copy it, and you'll find a shortcut to send it directly to ChatGPT. Or if you're on social media and you find an interesting image, simply take a screenshot and send that screenshot directly to ChatGPT. This adds a powerful new way to find out more information about the world around you. The Nothing OS integrations are available for Phone 2 users today, with the Phone 1 and Phone 2A following later this month. Simply update Nothing OS to the latest version. The audio integrations are live right now on the newly announced Nothing Ear and Nothing Ear A. And we're testing this feature for more devices. So expect it to roll out for all Nothing and CMF audio products in June. Stay tuned for that. So that's all I came to share with you today. I want to thank you all for being here with us. I want to thank my team at Nothing for all the hard work and making all of today's announcements possible. And I want to thank our community for all the great work so far on the Phone 2A Community Edition. It's looking really good, and I can't wait to see the final results. Today is also an important day for nothing. We launched two of our best earbuds we've ever created, solidifying our position as a serious player in the audio industry. We also launched an industry first, ChatGPT integrations into our audio and smartphone products. The first small steps towards an ambitious AI journey ahead of us. And as always, I look forward to hearing your feedback on the products that we've just announced. Thank you, and goodbye.